Good morning everybody. We are working on a project pertaining to identifying potential biomarkers to monitor therapeutic efficacy in dopamine dictated states of Parkinson's disease and schizophrenia. Parkinson's disease is a low dopamine state in the midbrain and the therapeutics that are involved pertain to increasing the concentrations of dopamine in midbrain. Schizophrenia is a disease where there are high concentrations of dopamine in the midbrain and accordingly the pharmacological interventions pertaining to decreasing its concentration. So the problem that we are trying to address is the side effect that pertains to shifting of the spectrum from schizophrenia to Parkinson's disease during therapy and Parkinson's disease patients suffering from psychosis during pharmacological intervention. So what we did was we compared the protein profiles of this in the serum from schizophrenia and Parkinson's disease patients and we identified the potential proteins that were differentially expressed between these two extreme dopaminergic spectrum states. So we used the DIGE technology that is the difference gel electrophoresis where we tagged the cyanine labels to the proteins and ran them on five biological replicate gels. And we did a detailed software analysis and only those differentially expressed proteins we identified and we proposed that these proteins which were identified as free serum globin chains are potential biomarkers that can be used in monitoring therapeutic intervention in these two biologically diseased states. So for the discovery phase, we used only the naive samples which we feel are the extremes of the spectrum but for the validation phase we have included a larger cohort that included the naive patients, the treated patients and also patients who had side effects. We see that these globin protein concentrations are inversely related to the midbrain dopaminergic state and therefore offers a window of opportunity to monitor those patients and thereby modulate or stop the intervention in a way that they continue to stay in a physiological state. It has a lot of translational ramifications which would benefit clinicians, researchers and patients as well. Thank you so much.